Kindly watch the video to the end to understand the story. The hypocrisy in the Ghana music industry is out of this world. And the hypocrisy among the Ghana music industry players no, is just disgusting. I'm back again. I'm back again. Last year in May, Sarkodie and Yvonne Nelson were trending for weeks or for a couple of weeks because Yvonne Nelson suddenly released a book in which she talked about the sexual intercourse she had with Sarkodie 10 years ago when she was even pregnant for Sarkodie. I said suddenly because nobody knew, even Sarkodie himself didn't know such a book was about to come out. In the book, she revealed that Sarkodie got her pregnant, then later aborted it. They made this decision together, but Ivo Nelson made it look like Sarkodie forced her into doing the abortion. The whole Ghana, especially SM fans, including Shatawali, started trolling your friends and Sarko, they're calling him all sorts of names, baby killer, this and that. Sarko, they was pushed into the corner after this book was released and because of the trolls he received, bro, so he decided to also, your friends saying, release a track called Don't Try Me, on which he also told the his side of the story, how it really went down between him and Yvonne Nelson. In the song, he said things like this. Hey man, if you wanna talk, you gotta tell the world if you got the nigga you fuck. He also added, Let me claim it good girl, you are for the streets. SM fans, including Shatawale, were like, How can Sarkodie this a woman? His fellow artists are beefing men. But he has released a song or a diss song for a woman. He is wicked and disrespectful. A Ghanaian radio presenter called Black Rasta even said, All companies should take back their ambassadorial deals because Sarkodie, Sarkodie has shown he doesn't value or respect women. How can he say a girl he once had a sexual intercourse with, you know, is for the streets. Wasn't he born of a woman? Like, those are the words of Black Rasta. Yesterday, Shatawale released a diss track for a woman, a media personality called Saliman, because he feels like this woman has been sitting on his happiness lately. Me being curious, now I went to listen to the song. Shatawale used <laughs> filthy words against this woman talking about her private parts this is what he said on the song he talked about saliman's private parts and said something like she's a prostitute he also added saliman's pussy private part looks like a roundabout hey saliman because your pussy big like roundabout shatawali literally talked like he has had sex with Saliman before. Like, bro, let me tell you something. Wasn't it the same Shatawali who was accusing Sarkodie of dissing Ivo Nelson? Wasn't it the same Shatawali who was talking about how disrespectful Sarkodie is for dissing a woman? He even said Sarkodie doesn't value women. Okay? By the death track Shatawali did for Saliman, does he value women? I know his SM fans will come and say otherwise. As hypocritical as many of the people in the industry are, no, nobody will say anything. Black Rasta won't come and preach again. But when it was Sarkodie, no, they held meetings for a week discussing about this this track. You see how manipulated the industry is? I was interested in finding out how people feel about this this track. Since they blackboard Sarkodie for dissing Yvonne Nelson. So I made this Facebook post asking the people. I read, Black Rasta, also known as Mr. Who Wants to Fight for Women's Rights. Did he hear that Shatawale used Saliman's che pussy in a diss song? Or does that not count as going against women, women's rights or the degradation of women? A moi animals that's what i posted because i was like charlie when it was sarkodie you know, and i said when sarkodie day you know you people were talking running your mouth like diarrhea 
but the tables have turned. What are you people saying about the same your friends saying crime you accuse her according here of? But this time the Shatawali did it. Will you people have the same energy you used on Sarkodia on Shatawali? Or because it is Shatawali there, you will keep your fucking mouth, you will shut up. This is what an SM fan wrote under my post. Sally man started a beef, bro. No be every my man they follow Sally. Fuck up big time. Ototo Gloga. And then I responded. Uh, and who started the beef between Sark and Yvonne? Charlie, in case you understood this SM English, uh, Charlie, break it down for me to understand. Because it was really hard for me to understand. But Kakran Kakran, I understood what he was trying to tell me. He was basically trying to tell me, say, Saliman started it. The SM fan said Saliman started it. Let me remind you. Sir Kodye was sitting in his corner, minding his fucking business. You follow me? He wasn't bothering anybody. And then Yvonne Nelson came out and released a book in which she talked about an incident that happened between her and Sarkodie alone. So if Yvonne Nelson hadn't brought out this book, uh, we wouldn't know. You follow me? Okay. Sarkodie was even professional to the extent he decided to he, at first, he didn't want to reply, but he replied because of how the people started treating him. The people start, started calling him all sorts of names, baby killer, this and that. And he was like, okay, I will respond. He responded even in a professional way by not mentioning Yvonne Nelson's private parts. What did I say? He tackled the, the, the issue. He didn't say Yvonne Nelson part, this and that. De, like like Shatawali did on the song uh, for your friend saying uh, Saliman. According to the fans, Shatawali was also sitting in his corner and Saliman came to say whatever. Okay. But bro, Shatawali's response uh, is disgusting. It wasn't professional at all. Let the truth be told. Don't just stand by him because you are a fan. If he is fooling, let him know, say, Charlie, you didn't do well. How you moved, you know, wasn't right, wasn't nice at all. Let him know. Don't be a kissing ass fan. You follow me? Shatawali decided to respond to Saliman. But all what he did was calling, like, bro, using her toto pussy against her as, as if he done had sex with, him, with her before. He also could have just gone live on TikTok and delivered the same speech. Why he needed a beat for? Because the things he said, no, he could have said it through without a beat. You fool me. Just say, he has just misused the beat like, I don't know even how to call it. But his fans will still come in prison. But the funny part, the same fans, no, were attacking Sarah Kodye for your friend is saying, dissing, dissing Yvonne Nelson. That's why I started this topic like this. For you to understand where I'm coming from and where I want to go. Because to me, you know, a hypocritical behavior. You can accuse me like I can accuse you of stealing. But I go do the same thing. Which means you, I, I'm not better than you and you are, you are not better than me. We are in the same position. Because I'm doing the same shit you did. I, I didn't lie, but bro, come on. Let this, make, let this make sense to me. When Sarkodie did it, they were throwing stones at him. But when Shatawali did it, they are, they are praising him. You see the picking and choosing in the industry? If it isn't about your favorite, it is bad. But when it is, uh, it is okay. huh? So if Shatawali says Sarkodie doesn't value women because of the response he gave to Yvonne Nelson, then bro, Shatawali is also in the same circle. He also doesn't value women. But who am I to talk? After all, he claims to be the richest artist in Ghana. Y'all know what it is. I go by the name Ruthless. Write to put in the comment section. Let's discuss. Like, like this video. Um, comment for the algorithm to pick up. In case you are new and haven't subscribed, do me a favor, a favor. Punch the subscription button. Turn on the notification bell. So whenever I drop a bomb ass video like this, you'll be one of the first people to watch and share your opinion.